So as we've said, it has been Halloween. Halloween. Uh, and of course, there needs to be some kind of horror film. We had a Ouija last week, but this very weekend, there was a zombie movie. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Train to Busan. Indeed it is. Uh, the trailer for this was amazing. Yes. As we all know, and it spread virally in my mind since then. I've been, oh, finally another zombie film because we've already had Girl with All the Gifts yes. recently as well. And now it seems we might have a bit of a revival on our hands. So, Train to Busan, uh, there's a man and his daughter. Uh, the daughter really wants to go see his mother, who lives in Busan, which is the other side of Korea. They're in Seoul. They get on the train to Busan. However, a zombie outbreak starts. And essentially, as you might expect, that can kind of ruin your day. Blooming virgin trains. Nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that might seriously mess up your day. Yes. Um, I think if, if there's one word to describe this film, it's breathless. Yes. Like, it, it, it does not let up at all. I mean, no. I think fr- from from the word go, you're almost instantly in it. And you get to... The, the, the thing that this, this film has in spades is likeable characters. Yeah. And I think once that breathless action kicks in, there isn't much time for, for too much character work within the action. But it doesn't matter because these likeable characters have been set up in broad strokes beforehand. Yeah. You get the setup to understand these characters and, and realise their vices and their shame. I mean, the, the lead protagonist, he starts out as a very self-centred, work-obsessed man. And his character arc is, is fascinating to watch because it is so broad in the sense that you really get to care about all of them. You've got the, the, t- the typical narcissist narcissistic selfish villain who thinks he's better than everyone else yeah. you've got the the likable every man with his pregnant wife you've got all of these broad characters who are there so you can you can get behind them and have people to, to, to root for while you're watching these hordes of the shambling undead storm across run away and board in this storm yeah. and it, it reminded me of a world war z with the sort of like ants kind of I well, think the, the zombies in this film that the way, the, fascinating. The way they all build up in hordes yeah. and they all climb over each other. Like the scene in yeah. World War II with the big wall and they're yeah. all like scrabbling over each other. Same I think, thing. I, I think what got me is like it's a fresh take on zombies because they don't eat the people. No, they just they, they, bite. They, they bite and in in the in the chew, but they, they, they don't eat. You, you never see any like eviscerated bodies. It's always like bite marks. They are literally trying to spread the infection. I think so, that. So there's 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 my theory then. Yeah. If, if they not want to eat each other, is it just a way of like just sort of making everyone part of the same yeah I think it's all like the collective consciousness inclusivity yeah like a singularity yeah that kind of thing yeah I think I think that sort of makes sense because and it matches up with the 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 tempo and the tone of the film doesn't it really because as you're watching this this breathtaking action you get to see all of these monstrous hordes storming towards the train and storming past the train and storming everywhere I think it just never lets up no. Does it? It, it? it never ever lets up, and I, I knew this was going to be good from the trailer. You, you could just, you could sense it. But I think this just it blew my mind in how good it was. I think this is the best zombie film I've seen because I'm not, I'm not counting the girl with all the gifts as a zombie film. I think this is the best zombie film I've seen since Shaun of the Dead, and that mm. is that is without a shadow of a doubt the truth. That's probably true. To be fair, like it, it, it is, a, a, it's a, it's a regeneration of of the genre. It really is. I think this has got some some fantastic action, some some never ending heart-stopping scenes and just is it a genuinely amazing good watch we need to talk about the setting then the train yes. um we've had films on a train before we've had a, a message in from francisco says the train action theme isn't necessarily new strange on the train snow piercer etc snow piercer was really good uh, but confining the action of a horror film inside just a limited space definitely draws more action to the film i would say the film uses its environment props and vehicles do deliver its screenplay as its greatest achievement the social critique is not new in zombie films but still important but you said about the train there uh, about snow it's in 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 that as well and this is kind of used as a sort of class divide to put yeah. put a, a, a variety of different oh, there's, classes there's loads in the of social commentary in this um but i think the, the fact that it's very well, I've said it, it, it's full of cliches, but it's not cliche-ridden. Mm. Like it's, it's not a bad thing as such. It kind of has to have them there, but it still does its own thing at the same time. To have it across that short period of time in, in that short uh, environment, I think it makes it really tense yeah. and really... I mean, more, more so than a big, expansive one like World War Z ever could have been, because it wasn't really that yeah. tense. It was just a bit sort of like, oh, it's quite, quite big, isn't it? Um, but I think that even looking at the train, I think the production design enough to have a train just get splattered in blood like that, 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 that for me is enough. I think to have that situation is. It's is just terrifically cool. creative in some of the ways. The sort of because of um, the the story, the story is essentially they're they're going from one part of the train to the other, and meet up with other passengers. Yeah. And as they circumvent the train, it's it's fascinating. Some of the ways they they do it. It it is just it it's it's crawling across stopping. across the uh, the baggage. Oh yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's it's wonderfully creative. Some of the ways and and they set up these zombies so well. They give them like proper. 
you know, the real traits so you can yeah. sort of understand their psychology and their biology and understand just how they can get past them. It doesn't cheat its own rules. When you had the uh, the baseball team with the baseball bats, I thought we were going to go for some kind of Warriors vibe, different oh, yeah. different gangs on the train and stuff. I say that's all we need to get. We need to get like a zombie Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it had a, a much appreciated heart about it, yeah. which is, is, is often lost in and, the And uh, as, as the, the villains, it suddenly become as bad as the zombies themselves as that class divide opens up and the social commentary deepens. It, it, it's got a lot more to it than the meat on the top layer, you know. Ah, ha. meat. <laughs> uh, no, very good. I like Train to Busan very much. Uh, if you've seen it, I think they've shown it one more time uh, before the weekend is over. Yeah. Uh, so if you do go on Tyne Sense and website, you'll find uh, where it's shown, when it's shown. Or-